Hi, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to insert a clickable image that will link your students to a video. I'm working in um, a HyperDoc template. And if you're not familiar with HyperDocs, you can visit hyperdoc.co, HyperDoc spelled just like you see here, hyperdoc.co, and learn more. Essentially, what I'm working on in here is just a Google Doc that is going to be an interactive experience for students. So let's say I want them to go watch this video. So I'm going to teach you how you can have an image here that will then click to the video. It's not very difficult at all. So let me just delete what's here. So imagine that you're starting from scratch. I can do something very simple, like saying, click here to watch the video. Then I can make certain words within this linkable by either clicking this little link icon here or under the insert tab, insert and link. Obviously this is faster. So I just click here and put apply after I paste it in. And then maybe I also want the words the video to be a link as well. So now I've applied that. And if you if a student clicks here, then that link will um, arise just to the right lower side of where the link is. See, same thing over here, just to the right lower side. Click on that and it will take them straight to the video. Ta-da, right? But let's say, oops, now it's going to play. Let's say that I want there to be a picture for them to click on. Maybe I want a picture because it's easier for kids to recognize that that's a video. Maybe I want a picture just to give some visual interest to my HyperDoc. So how I'm gonna do that is gonna be different if I have an iDevice or if I have a laptop. It's much easier with an iDevice because you have that little screen clip tool. Um, so I'm gonna show you how it works on a laptop. So I'm going to go to where this is the video. This is what the like cover image of the video looks like. And so I'm just going to open up a regular old PowerPoint and I'm going to click insert. And then do you see where it says screenshot? This is actually a drop down menu. So I'm going to drop down, click that arrow and click screen clipping. If I just take a screenshot, let me show you what that would do. Screenshot. It takes the whole page and then I'd have to go crop that and that would be kind of a pain. So instead, what I do is click insert under screenshot, use the drop down, click screen clipping. And now here I have and you see how it went pale. Now it's ready to clip and this little red or black, sorry, black plus sign shows me what exactly I'm going to capture. So I go here and as soon as I lift up, now it's got that as an image in my PowerPoint that I had open. Now, when you go to do this, it's important that the website you're going to, in this case, this list of Google search results or YouTube search results is the page you want to clip. For instance, let's say I had this open and then I, I know that what screen clip I want, it's only going to pull off the last thing I opened, right? I can't it, if I try to navigate to something else, it won't work. So make sure that you have open what it is you actually want to click before you switch into your PowerPoint. Next, I'm gonna right click. I just right clicked on this image. Do You see where it says save as picture. I'm going to save it, just save it somewhere that you know you'll find it. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop for now. Save as picture, there it is. Next, I'm gonna go back to my HyperDoc and under where it says click here to watch the video or I can put it above it doesn't really matter right I can do this too it's fine then I'm going to click insert image and then I'm going to go get that image it's just sitting here on my desktop I click enter and now it's put that image right in my document and if I want to center it I can just use these things up here to say how I want it do I want it right justified center put in the center and now I can put a link on this and I can do it the same way I did with text, either insert link or I can simply click this um, link icon. And now I'm going to paste in that same link and now I've got it. And now this link itself is clickable. So I'm switching to the viewing mode out of editing so that I can show you that now if I click on this picture, it will take me to the video. 
So let me go through those steps just one more time in case you want a quick refresher. So I'm going to type in the text I want, and then I will highlight the text that I want to insert the link for, and then use either insert or the link tab. It's not gonna let me do it here in viewing mode. I need to switch to editing. But if I highlight the text, I can either click the link, insert or insert link, either one. That's how I can insert video that's just this. I can do the same, it works the same if I'm gonna insert a link to a document, if I'm gonna insert a link to some place that we're gonna share, that's fine too. To insert the image, I need to do two things. I need to go capture the image, which I did by just opening up PowerPoint and clicking insert screenshot screen clipping and then making a clipping, right? I can make a clipping of any picture that opens up. Remember, it will open up a screen clipping on the last page that you had open. I save that, right click and save it as a picture. Then I will go back to my document and let's just take this one out so I can show it again. Insert image. I'm going to upload that image I just took. And this, in this case, I took that last screenshot right there. I have this image here and I am going to then click either the link icon or insert link. Either one will work and paste in the link to that video that I want them to go to. Again, if I'm in the, um, if I'm in editing mode, then I have to actually hover over, like click on the thing and then it will bring up the video link. If I am in viewing mode, if I'm in viewing mode, then the image itself becomes clickable. Up to you what you'd like to do. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I hope that you enjoy making the HyperDocs for your students.